Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I've been talking about how to get aim assist on mouse and keyboard using a program known as Read WASD. This is a paid app, but there is a free trial if you wanted to try it out before you purchase. ReadWASD.com. This is where you go to download the program. All my configs will be linked in the descriptions below, along with the Discord and tutorials on how to get the setup properly. Even if you're a longtime sub and you've been here for a minute, you're going to need to pay attention to this video because I've changed some things and there's a possibility that you could mess it up if you don't pay attention to what I'm talking about in this config. There's toggles on loot that I've added, so you need to pay attention to understand how these work. And I will go in over the in-game settings right after. So without further ado, let's jump in game and talk about it. All right, so the first thing is I've added a toggle on... on on bag so every time you press tab it'll automatically let you toggle to loot on mouse and keyboard I've also added a toggle on loot boxes a hold on the use key so it will toggle every time you hold to use you just press tab and you're back to controller so you will press tab every time you exit a loot box and you can move around in that everything it don't matter Still going to toggle back. See him back on controller. The only issue that you will run in, into when you're doing this is when you go to pick up a gun. A lot of times this only happens early in the game. So you'll see it toggles off right here. You can either, on, on mouse four, the side mouse button, there's still a toggle to toggle back and forth. And I've also fixed the sticking on this. You can see I'm moving. It'll stop you for a split second. But you can still keep moving when you toggle. Anything you do, it'll just keep it'll keep toggling no matter what. As you see, I'm sitting there, I'm moving left to right, and you can see that it's changing back from controller to mouse and key as a toggle, and I'm not getting stuck. So that's a lot of that's something a lot of people requested, and I've added it in this along with a couple other features. Uh, sensitivity, real smooth. Still has the turning issue a little bit, but if you move your mouse smoothly, you can turn 180s very easily. Most people are using 4-3 linear on controller in this game, so you're still turning faster than a lot of controller players. You could tap strafe if you have uh, if you have your scroll wheel binds set up, you could tap strafe just like you normally would with the scroll wheel binds. As you see, I just hopped off that wall like a true champ, dude. Um, yeah, so with that said, let's talk about some in-game settings. All right, so if you come here, advanced look controls, you want to make sure custom look controls are on. Dead zone all the way down. Outer threshold all the way down. Response curve all the way down. Y'all in pitch speed on max. 375 ADS y'all in pitch speed. And if you want to make this config a little bit faster turning, you can turn turning extra y'all and pitch up. All this does is add extra sensitivity to the game. And it's not that noticeable, but it does make you turn a little bit faster. Um, you can also raise your DPI. I use 800 DPI with this config. That'll help you turn a bit faster if you want. But me personally, I like it like it is. Feels good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate everybody joining me. Like I said, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It helps tremendously. Um, if you want to see some gameplay, stick around. I'll show some of that. Appreciate everybody. Peace, peace.
Throw your drone down immediately, please. 